students my name is mohit and today we will continue the chapter factors and multiples Ch divisibility test of 2 3 4 5 and 6 we have already covered in the previous part that is part 2 and in this part we will cover the divisibility test of 8 9 10 11 <laughs> so what is divisibility test of 8 let's see if the last 3 digits of a whole number are divisible by 8 then the entire number is divisible by 8 now what i am saying we have to see the last 3 digits if the last 3 digits are divisible by 8 then means the entire number will divisible by 8 so this is the shortcut way to know like for example number 1 let's 2 4 5 6 here if i take the last three digits that is 4 5 6 and divide by 8 it will be divisible by 8 57 times how many times 57 times so it means that if 2 4 2 uh, sorry 4 56 is divisible by 8 it means 2 4 5 6 will also be divisible by 8 so it is yes it is divisible by 8 similarly for 1824 if i divide this number by 8 it will be divisible it means that 1824 will also be divisible so it is yes it is divisible by 8 but, but if i take 5791 and the last three digits will it be divisible by 8 no it is not divisible by 8 because the remainder is 7 so it means the remainder is remaining that's why this number is not completely divisible divisible by 8 so it is no it is not divisible now let's come to the divisibility test of 9 now divisibility test of 9 if the sum of all digits in a number is divisible by 9 then a number is divisible by 9 For example, if I take four thousand five hundred and eighteen, and if I add all the digits of the number, we will get eighteen. It means because this eighteen is divisible by nine, it two times. It means that the entire number that is four thousand five hundred and eighteen is also divisible by nine. It means the property of three and property of nine are same. the property of 3 and 9 are same now divisibility test of 10 a number is divisible by 10 if the last digit of a number is 0 it means if a number having its unit place that is 0 if a number unit digit is 0 like 20 40 50 280 360 there are so many numbers etc so its unit place is 0 in each number it means these numbers will be divisible by 10 now let's come to the divisibility test of 11 divisibility rule of 11 what is this if the difference between the sum of the digits the sum of the digits placed at odd numbered places and even numbered places means we have to find the digits in the number which are placed at odd numbered places and even numbered places by adding those numbers that if the difference of the number is even is either 0 or a multiple of 11 then a number is divisible by 11 For example, let's take one three three one. If I take one three three one, so how we will do it? Like this is one, two, three, four. These are the places. If I talk about in these numbers, which is even, which is odd numbered place. like this is 1 2 3 4 <laughs> this is odd and this is odd but 2 and 4 are even so sum of the digit 
in the odd numbered places what are odd numbered places like 1 and 3 so 1 and 3 the digit is all itself 1 and 3 so we will add 1 plus 3 that is 4 now sum of the digits in the even numbered places now even numbered like 2 and 4 are even numbers so even numbered digit is 3 here and 4th here 1 so we will add 3 plus 1 that is 4 now take out the difference the difference is 4 minus 4 we will just subtract the numbers so we will get 0 and you know that 0 can be divisible by 11 so the number is also divisible by 11 itself like 1331 is also divisible now let's take another example if I talk about this is some big number like 9,46,385 we have to check it for it check out for it now for example let's let's write it again like 1 2 3 4 5 6 now you know that what are even num digit place even numbered places like 1 is odd 2 is even so uh, let me uh, let me underline odd only like 1 3 5 these are odd number while 2 4 and 6 are even so what we will do the sum of digits in odd is in odd places so odd places like 1 3 and 5 the digits who are written in 1 third place and the fifth place we will add this like 9 plus 6 plus 8 that is 23 now sum of the digits in even placed in even places like even place like 2 4 6 what are the digits 4 second place that is 4 fourth place that is 3 and sixth place that is 5 you will add the numbers again that is 4 plus 3 plus 5 4 plus 3 plus 5 what we will get that is 12 now let's find the difference difference is all the difference is always be taken out by subtracting lower number from the bigger number like 23 minus 12 not 12 minus 23 that is 23 minus 12 so we will get 11 now 11 is divisible by 11 or 11 is a multiple of 11 11 ones are 11 it means the number is also divisible by 11 so this is the method. I hope you understand it very carefully. So, all the best students.